Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you couldn't tell by the title of this video, we are going on our seventh cruise. This is our fifth Royal Caribbean, seventh overall. We went on two anthems and two harmonies before, and this is our first time doing something different, so it's gonna be the Oasis of the Seas, which is kind of like Harmony, only earlier, but then they had a renovation and blah, 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 blah. But anyways, our first cruise during the pandemic, our last cruise was Anthem of the Seas, March 2020, literally the week before everything went to shit, pretty much. It was like the, we came back on the 14th, they closed the world down on the 15th. It was wild. And that cruise, there was like, you know, people were wearing masks. It was limited capacity. There was like a 1,500 people on the ship. It was very empty. Um, they were sanitizing everything. And while we were on board, we were just like, well, this is weird. What is happening? I have no idea. This is confusing. Little do we know, ha, 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 pandemic. So this is our seventh one. It's still the pandemic, whatever, but cruises are open, so we're going. The only difference is there are a few different things going on. There's some protocols we gotta go through, different changes in rules. You gotta be vaccinated and you have to have a negative COVID test, whether that be PCR or rapid test. I'm getting a rapid test because I need answers back fast. So we are here in Dunkirk, Maryland, which if you didn't know is an hour away from my house. Luckily I was off today, so I decided to drive an hour away because this is the only place that does free rapid tests, CVS and Dunkirk, cool. So we're waiting here, it's 3.44, my appointment's at 3.50. Apparently they're gonna come up and call me and give me a swab and I can do it myself so they don't jab it in the back of my brain. I'll let you know what happens because if it comes back positive, this is gonna be a different video. Hopefully it's negative. Stay tuned, let's find out. They just called me, I just got my test back. We're negative, we're good, we're good to go, we're going on a cruise. I'm really excited. Not that I should have been scared, but you never really know. There's no symptoms, I don't feel anything, and it still could have been a positive. Who knows, but it doesn't matter, I got that negative, so we're good. So the next time you're gonna see me, we're gonna be at the cruise port, so. Let me do a sick transition, and we made it right here. Look, we're in New Jersey. It's really windy, and you probably can't hear me because of the wind, but that's fine. Let's go. All right, we're on the escalator here. Right here, we gotta wear our masks the entire yeah, time. Yeah, I don't understand them. Hold on. Anthem of the Welcome aboard. Straight ahead and to the left. I'm telling you, that took us a total of like, I don't even know, 10 minutes to get from the, the parking garage to now we're about to get on the ship. So, let's get on the ship. Obviously, we're early, right? <laughs> We gotta step on, we gotta step on. Let's talk about it. Oh, -ho! <laughs> oh we're, we're on it, we're here, we're doing it. Everybody. It does smell so good. All right. Steal this one. All right. We're on, we made it. Let's go do things. I don't know like what we're gonna do. We're here so damn early, but hey. No, nope. we probably have to go all the way up. But we're gonna we're gonna explore the ship. We're here like I don't even know, like super early. Our rooms aren't ready, nothing's ready, but we're in the the what's this, the promenade? This isn't my first cruise. Let's figure out something to do. Okay, so we're out here, it's real early. It's not even noon yet. We're walking around the ship getting a feel for it. It's kind of crappy weather, but whatever. We're gonna go check out the New York skyline and see what's going on over there. It's real foggy, but it looks cool. And then we're gonna, I guess, find a drink. I don't know if things are open, but we're gonna try. We've been asked a few times about a specialty restaurant stuff, but uh, they're not super pushy, which is nice, because normally when you get off the ship around here, it's super pushy. People wanna sell you things, but here they, obviously still want to sell you things but 
they're nice. You just tell them, no, thank you, and they'd smile and tell you have a good day, which is nice. But we're going to, it looks like, the solarium, and we're going to get ourselves a beverage. The adult area. It's this way. see if I could zoom in you'll see the solid Statue of Liberty right there cool the first pina coladas of the cruise the first it just hit noon so we are about to start drinking pina coladas let's go one of the downsides obviously to getting on the ship really early is uh well, you can't necessarily go anywhere. I mean, you can do everything, you just can't go to your room. So, pretty much everything is open. Everything's good except for the rooms. As you can see, hold on. Ready by two o'clock. So, we're gonna be sitting here waiting till two o'clock. But really, more drinks, piñas, some, uh, some, uh, some tequila shots, exploring doing a little video. Oh! <laughs> First tequila shot. All right. Tradition. That's it. So smooth. Yeah. So we stopped off at, uh, what is this place called? Doghouse, the dogs, and they it's its all complimentary, it's all free. You can get whatever you want, no problem. I got the Sicilian dog, look at that, with the everything bun. Hold on, let me, let me show you. It's a Sicilian dog with an everything bun, a little uh, sauteed onions, a little sauerkraut, mustard, can't argue. And it's all complimentary, so guess what? Get your AOs out the way right now. Banging. It's so good, I think I'm covered in mustard. One of the best places to stop to eat. If you don't want pizza. One thing that I just noticed was uh, how quick they are with the sanitization of this place. Let me, let me show you something. We sat down, immediately somebody came out and look at this. He flipped that over so that nobody else would sit here until they sanitized it and cleaned it and made it covid bliss. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, check the other side. Clean and ready for you. Flip it over, bow, don't sit here. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So if, you, if you're wondering if they're on top of it, yes, they are on top of it. Hot dog. Shout out Lyle, because he said, is this you? And that's a carnival ship, Lyle. Yeah. What, a, what a noob, Lyle. <laughs> Get, go do some deadlifts. All right, tequila shot number two. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Tequila shot, tequila shot, let's go. Video. Video -ception. Video -ception. Ah. The room's almost ready. We're getting some more drinks and exploring some more. Avion tequila. Drink number three, the painkiller. We both got one. That's not including shots, by the way, I think. Tomorrow I'm gonna do a, a count of how many, how many drinks that we're gonna drink in a day to see if we get our money's worth, which we have. It's called the painkiller for a reason. Are you in pain? Not anymore. The strength of this is <laughs> worth it. Rooms are almost done. It's two o'clock. We're on our way to our room to see if it's ready for us. And uh, we'll do a little room tour, a little room review. What you got, Pete? This is what it is. That's it. We made it. We're to our room. Eight, seven, sixteen. Here's our stuff. I already opened it. Check it out. We got our new cards. They're like a new, a new design. It's kind of clean. I like that. Um. Let's see, dining, beverage packets, deluxe. Let's see. <laughs> oh, there's already a jam on. Oh, it's the worst song in the world. 
<laughs> Hello everybody, welcome to the room review of the Oasis of the Seas. We got a balcony state room. What uh what number are we? 8716. Besides that, like the 4D. Level. 4D. This is a 4D cabin. So let's go over it. Right here we got some shelving for I don't know, like cups and stuff. That seems cool. They got uh breakfast menus. Cool. We got a full length mirror right here. That's great. A little bit more storage over here to my left or yeah my left storage storage down here plus some plugs it seems like european absolutely a waste of time and then uh the other ones plus right here if you take a gander more plugs so that's actually good because some of the other ones we've been to they don't have that many plugs so that's that's nice we got our mirror with the lights that's cool. Nice little chair. Do your makeup. Stuff like that. They gave us masks and hand sani. That's really nice. Then over here, you have a couch. It looks like an OG couch from like early 2000s. Because it's an early 2000s ship. Great. You got one closet. This is slightly smaller than like some of the other ships we've been on. I don't know why, but it feels a little bit smaller. But you got one closet, a bunch of cubbies, plenty of room. You got this TV uh, on the Anthem. It was like a 40 some inch TV. Looks like we got ourselves a 32, maybe, maybe smaller. No big deal, we don't watch too much TV while we're here anyway. Mini fridge down, meow. Cool, I'm gonna put some cheesecake in there later. All these th different things, you got a hair dryer, some, oh gosh, I broke this. Need to put that back, all right, cool. And then you got your, hopefully, I don't know, queen size bed. Let's do it. Trust fall. You know what? It's not that bad. It's as nice as a cruise ship bed can be. But then we're going to go out here, the balcony, which is really nice to have. I don't like being on cruise ships without balconies now because I've experienced it. If you don't want this issue, don't get a balcony, but get a balcony. Look at this table. I plan on eating breakfast out here it's at least once. We didn't have a table on we our did. other we one on table. Anthem. We just had two chairs. Yeah, with um, step stools. Let's go. And it's non obstructed. Last time we had an obstructed view. Now it's not obstructed. Take a look at the ocean. But take a look at this ocean. Yeah. It's like it's the street. Plus, we haven't left. Yeah, look at the bathroom. Let's go take a look. Follow me in. You got art on the, the, the wall for your pleasure. There's also storage underneath the bed. Yeah, well, you can put your suitcases. Maybe. All right, the bathroom. Come take a gander. We got our little sink. There's not, there's not much room in here, but it's not bad. You got some storage for all your, your stuff. Got your toilet thing, Majig here. Trash can, sink. This thing. I thought it only opened up this much, and I was like, "Who do they think they are?" But the other side opens too. But you got nice glass walls. I am five foot ten and three quarters, and this is what it's like. Cool. I can do this. There's plenty of room. You got your little doohickey. Comes with some hair and body wash, two in one. Didn't even need to buy any. God, you got hooks everywhere. Got your towels. Throw them on the ground when they're uh, they're done. They're spent. What I do like is to watch your step. <laughs> There's hooks everywhere. There's these hooks. There's these hooks. There's hooks everywhere. You got yourself safe. The bed has a little light next to it, so you don't have to get up. Wow, shuts everything off. Turns it on. So that's the room. Um, I'm gonna watch a lot of whatever's on this TV, maybe? But we're gonna unpack and then get ready to leave. I know that I mentioned uh, that this room is kind of smaller, and it is. Like, normally we have two uh, different closet sections for her and I, and now there's only one. Um, it's a pretty decent sized closet, but it's still kind of small. Normally there would be two. Uh, the TV itself is kind of small, if you can see. 
uh, the, it, this whole area is about normal, but normally the TV's up there, at least on the Anthem it is. Um, bed's normal size, all that stuff. But for the most part, it is what it is. We're not gonna spend that much time in this room, but it is odd that like we got the drink package and I don't know, maybe they were running late or something. I don't know, but you're supposed to get a cup. Um, these two cups that work with the soda machines and we got like 12 of them. This will be 14 of them at the house. But we were supposed to get one of those. They're not here. I, it seemed like the bartenders knew because they said if you don't have one in your room, then to go downstairs or to any bar and ask for it and tell them you didn't get yours. So that's what we're going to do here in a minute. Also, before they gave us like waters and stuff, like bottled water because we were fourth cruise on with them. Now this is our fifth cruise and there's nothing. It's like it, the room wasn't fully ready yet. Maybe. I don't know. Also real big kind of annoying thing to me was as we were walking down, her bag was at somebody else's room. Our room is seven sixteen, eight seven sixteen, and her bag was at like six eighty, and mine was at like six ninety. And the only reason that I noticed it was because I was like, yo, that bag looks just like yours. And then we looked at it and it was like, oh, these are our bags. This isn't right. This isn't our room at all. So that's weird, but I'm a, uh, whatever. We have our bags. I, I let it go. I let it go. I don't know. But what we're going to do here soon is probably hit, um, unpack first and then I don't know, do more exploring, wait for the, the ship to take off so we can see it go under this bridge really close. Uh, we're gonna go do that. Let's let's go do that. I look like I'm part of the cops. That's true. All right, this is shot number what, three? They love just getting in my way. Shot number three. Let's go. Like Alright, so this is drink number seven. She's got drink number six because I've I've outbeat her on on the drinks that we're having on this cruise. I hydrated. She got a little hydration. She was getting a little feisty. You need to understand Puerto Ricans get feisty out of nowhere. So she needed to hydrate a little bit, get a little bit of water in her system before she, before she fights people. But we're about to leave. We're about to sail off. It's almost five o'clock and uh, yeah. We're gonna go check it out. Oh yeah, so um, when we got on the ship at like 11.15 in the morning, we went and did our muster station thing at Cool. We said it was done. They said they were they were done, but our, uh, it wasn't working. So they just wrote our name down. And we were like, okay, cool. And then on the, uh, the loudspeaker, they were saying, people are still not completely checked in. We can't leave. So I was like, let's go and double check, make sure that we checked into our muster station. Let's just double check. We went in there, no. Well, apparently it didn't matter. So uh, we were some of the last people to check in, but whatever, I mean, we did it. So let that, you know, understand that, that if it's not working for some reason, they're having system failure, like computer glitches, whatever, and they write your name down, double check, go back later and see and make sure Make sure, check the app, make sure you're good. So yeah, do that. But now we're about to leave. It's five o'clock and we're at the highest, one of the highest points, we're near the abyss. And we're waiting for us to leave so we can go under this bridge and almost take it out. Drink number, I don't know, eight or nine or something. But you gotta understand that the fact that they have truly lemonades on this ship means it's gonna be the best cruise ever. We still haven't taken off yet. Um, we're just waiting. It was raining, but whatever. We're by the Flow Rider. The Flow Rider's over there. The Abyss is back there. This is called the Wipeout Bar. So I'm just chilling with a little Truly. She got. There's no. She got herself a little tequila shot. A little tequila lime. Yeah. So we're just waiting. We're waiting. You're gonna see us go under a bridge. That's pretty cool, to be honest with you. So. Stand by for that. All right, she's gonna take a <laughs> shot to uh, to avenge herself because she uh, she's be even. she's like, well, we're not gonna be even because I'm I'm one ahead of you still. Well, the shot is more more powerful than yours. Take your shot. <laughs> take the shot. Take, take the shot. There's no salt. But not fine. politically. Go ahead. All right. Yeah, that's right. 
You don't even need that line. It's Avion. They keep on making fun of it and saying it's water because it's so smooth. It's so good. Anyway. Until leaving, maybe, maybe. Oh, hey everybody. So we're at the Bionic Bar. If you can't tell, it's a robot. It's pretty sick. This is how it works. You got a, a nice tablet. We're gonna go ahead and bow. And if you have the drink package, guess what? It's free, so I'm gonna add my birthday gear. I'm 30, hey, don't remind me. And then you get to pick one. You can create a new drink. You got your signature drinks, Bionic signatures, some classics. I'm gonna create a drink. And I'm gonna go, wow, let's go to spirits. And I actually, this is part of my, uh, this is part of my, my evil genius, Johnny Walker Black. All right. It says, how many do you want? Guess what? More. Another one. Four parts, Johnny Walker Black. So this is what I'm getting. And as you can see right here, take a gander, it's zero dollars. But it's four parts Johnny Walker. Why? Because I want a shot of Johnny Walker. Brian's drink. We're going to say, okay. I'm going to check out because it's zero dollars. Check. And now it's making my drink. Is it a hoodlum drink? Yes, but I'm saving it for later. You gotta understand, it's part of the magic. And we got like just four shots of Johnny Walker Black, obviously, so that works. All right, Johnny Walker Black, it's just a shot of Johnny. I know what Johnny Walker Black is. Like. And it's exactly what I thought it was very good. But this is going into the room for later when everything's closed and I want a little Johnny Walker Black. You know what I'm saying? Like three in the morning. All right, finally, um, it's 7.18. We were supposed to leave at five and uh, it's 7.18 and we're leaving now, finally. Finally, we're leaving. So we're gonna see, it's dark out now. We're gonna see if we can see this bridge. Hmm. All right, we're starting to go under. We're on the back of the ship right now. So we're gonna see them go under this. This is apparently like, I don't know, two feet away from the top. That's unsafe. Golly! Oh boy. Oh boy, that's real close. That's, that's uncomfortably close. Look at this. Oh God. Okay. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> well, we made it. We made it. Goodbye, New York. We are in the Royal Theater for our first show of the night. I have no idea what it is, to be honest with you. What is this? Uh, David Lucas headliner. David Lucas headliner. I feel like he's just like an entertainer and he does stuff because I see like golf and tennis and I feel like he's going to juggle or something, but... First, first show of the night, we're on the high seas now, so let's go. It is in fact 7.59. We're getting two Henny and Diet Cokes. This is drink number 10, I think. So if you're wondering if the drink package is worth it, it's only eight o'clock. And this is drink number 10, that's including shots, by the way. Let's make it 15 by the end of the night. You know what I mean? Let it go. So we're back here, we're back at Sorrento's because it's like the only thing that's technically open for food. There's uh, obviously the uh, cafe promenade over there, but we don't want that. There are little mini sandwiches and pizza's always super good. We just got out of the show, David Lucas, I believe his name was, and he's a juggling extraordinaire. And let me let, let you know right now, uh, he was awesome. And uh, we're probably gonna watch him again because he was cool. He did a lot of crazy stuff. The ship is moving like crazy right now. If you can't tell, I'm, I'm, I'm rocking back and forth pretty hard. You can just see the entire ship, all the people on it, everyone keeps moving in the same way, back and forth. It's crazy. Luckily, I don't get seasick. I don't know about her though. 
But yeah, we got another show and then uh, more raging, more raging. Hello everybody, it is the next day, day number two, but I forgot to close out the video from yesterday because obviously we woke up at 4.30 in the morning and we drank all day. So towards the end of the night, my filming thoughts kind of dwindled away, but this will be the end of the video. Thank you for watching. I got, I'm gonna do a, seven of them, I guess. So stay tuned for the next video, probably tomorrow or the next day, depending on how fast I can edit these. But we're off to the gym. So I'll see you guys tomorrow or whenever you see me.